All right, good evening, good evening. Welcome to this remedial class. So this is uh, a marathon where we'll be looking at questions from past papers. And uh, I gave you guys an homework and uh, most of you submitted. And I just want to run you through the approach to the questions. It means that I am going to give you more questions at the end of this lesson. So I want you to follow through very, very careful. Right, so uh, the first question that we had, um, see on the screen, uh, given the triangle ABC, so ABC is a triangle as shown in the diagram here, find the value of X. Okay, so we have X here, we have X there, we have X there. So how do we find the value of X? Now, this is uh, one thing that you should know about triangles. So for instance, let me just draw a simple triangle. If you have a triangle like that, and this angle is A, and that angle is B, and that angle, say, is C. When you add the angles A plus B plus C, always this gives you 180 degrees so we're going to give, use this fact in this uh, question so whenever you have a triangle like that and you're asked to find the the missing angle what you should know is that the sum of all the angles inside a triangle add up to 180 degrees so in this case we're going to say this angle here which is x plus this angle here which is x plus 10 plus this angle here which is plus x plus 65 degrees this should add up to what 180 degrees okay so this is the fact that we're using so this is a principle that you should know and uh, basically here what you need to do is use board mass so board mass board mass okay so that is brackets orders orders is where you arrange like terms and uh their likes then uh division multiplication addition and subtraction <clears throat> so we'll start with orders since we have no brackets here so we'll start with orders so we need to group the like terms so we have x x x so we group them how we group is we get the 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 sign in front of the 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 given variable so here it is positive so it will just be positive x here it is positive x as well so it will be positive x here again it's positive so it will be positive x okay then we do the same for the other part so this and that so we see that it is positive 65 degrees so we put that positive or we can start with this one positive this is positive 10 degrees, so we say positive 10 degrees, and this is positive, so that is positive 65 degrees, and this should be equal to 180 degrees. And basically, what is x plus x plus x? So what you do is uh, you just get the x, one of the x, and you add the coefficient. So this is positive 1 but plus positive one plus positive one that will give us three okay so that is plus then here we have 10 plus 65 so that will be 75 degrees equal to 180 so what you do here is you need to transpose because you want to remain with the x part alone here so you transpose the 65 on the other part there and you know if we transpose we're just getting the inverse of that so the sign changes so that would be 3x and when this is transposed or in simple terms when it crosses the equal sign it, the sign changes to the opposite so in this case it's positive this will be 180 it will change to negative uh, 75 but in reality what we're getting is the additive inverse of this value here so the additive inverse of positive 75 is uh, negative 75 okay so let me just uh, erase here on top so that we continue from there okay 
So now here we have uh, 3x equal to, we can simplify this, 180 minus 75. This will give us 105 degrees, so 105 degrees. Then what do we need to do for us to remain with x here alone? So we divide throughout by 3 and here by 3, okay? Then the 3 here and the 3 there will cancel and our x will finally be equal to 35 degrees. So that is your answer here, okay? Um, additionally, they, they could have told you to find, so here I'm adding questions. So you found your x. They could have told you to find, find angle, say angle, what? Angle A, B, C. So you need to look for A, B, C. So you start from A, which is this one, A, B, and C. So the turning point is B. So the angle that we're looking for is this. So the angle that you look for is at the turning point. So the turning point is B. So here, for us to find this angle, the angle is X plus 10 degrees. So our X is 35. So it will be 35 plus 10 degrees, which will give us 45. So ABC would be equal to 45 degrees. Okay. Some applies if you are asked to find angle B, C, A. Where do you think angle B, C, A would be? So you start from B, C, A. So C is your turning point. So that is the angle that you're looking at there. So the angle there is X plus 65. Okay. Which would give you x is uh, 35 plus 65 so you can simplify that and it would give you uh, that is uh, 100 degrees so basically that is what you're supposed to do so for you to find the angle let me just erase this for you to find the value of x you use the fact that when you add uh the variables the angles what you're getting is um is uh let me see is 180 degrees let me just erase this for you so that you can write properly okay so yeah so when you add the angles, so this angle plus that angle plus that angle, it should give you 180 degrees and we simplified and it gave us that. We can go to the next question. Okay, so the next question says in the diagram below, AB is parallel to CD. So AB is this line here, which is parallel to CD, which is this line here. And EF is a transversal, is a transversal, so transversal means that it just cuts straight like that. Um, you've been given the angle APQ, so the angle APQ here, APQ, PQ is 180 degrees. Okay, which is this one here, and you're asked to find the angle PQC. So let's locate PQC. So we start from P, which is here, PQC. So PQC, PQC. So the turning point is the angle that we are looking for. Okay, let me just draw it properly. Okay, so that is P, Q, C. So the turning point is the angle that we're looking for. So the turning point is this one, P, uh, Q, C. Now, what you should know is that whenever you have parallel lines like this and a line cutting like that, there are two things that you should know, okay? The first thing is that this thing you should, uh, when you make a Z, wherever you make a Z, so like if you make a Z like this, okay? If you make a Z like that, the angle here 
okay the angle here and the angle there are the same okay that is one thing that you should know so even for the questions that i'll give you you should note that when you make a z for any lines that are parallel usually when the two lines are parallel you see um you see this this uh these arrows showing that the lines are parallel okay when you see these arrows it shows that the lines are parallel when you create a z the angles that are in the corners of the z are the same okay that is number one the other thing that you should note is that angles that are facing each other so if you have this line you if you draw a straight line like that angles that are facing each other so like this line this angle here is facing this line this angle here these add up to 180 degrees okay angles facing each other add up to 180 degrees uh, so same applies uh, with uh, which which angles are facing each other here so same applies to this angle here and this one here so they are facing each other they will add up to 180 degrees so that is the fact that we're going to use for us to find pqc so we know that this angle here which is p q c and this one are facing each other so meaning that when they when they are added p q c plus plus this other angle here plus this angle here which is a p q plus a p q they add up to 180 degrees okay so that is what you should not let me just erase so that uh, i make a, a cleaner one okay so angles that are facing each other this one and this one which is a a p q which is this one plus p q c which is this angle they'll add up to 180 so we're looking for p a c which is what we have here so we are going to have p q c sorry we're looking for p q c plus a p q a p q we have a p q is 130 130 degrees this will give you 180 degrees okay so now what you do you want to remain with p q c alone here so you transpose this on the other side and you're going to have uh, p q c equal to 180 degrees minus 130 okay which when you add or simplify there or uh, sum you're going to get a 50 degrees as your answer okay so this angle here is 50 degrees okay and remember what we said when we create a z okay when we create a z so we see that we can make a z here okay we can make a z here the angles in the opposite like this angle here in the corners of the z are the same so if this is 50 degrees you should know that this is also 50 degrees okay so and the angles opposite like this angle here and this angle here will also be the same because this line is 180 degrees and what do you need for you to get 180 if you have 50 here so you can find that okay so you can use that fact okay i hope it's clear because you're going to get more questions on this let me so that is how you're supposed to approach this question then we go to question three so you can always repeat because questions are coming so question three is a question that uh, looks at similarity and congruence okay so the question reads in the diagram below PQR is a straight line. So PQR, P, where is P? PQR is a straight line. So this is a straight line. Okay. Uh, angle 
or PT equals to angle or angle what? angle QRS, which is equals to 90 degrees. Angle O, is it QPT? Yeah, angle QPT is angle QPT. So this triangle, this angle here is equals to angle Q R S. So they are they are both 90 degrees. Okay. So they are both 90 degrees as noted here. And Q QRS is equals to 90 degrees. Uh, then angle P, which is P P what? P Q T. P Q T is equals to angle QRS. Yeah, so uh, which is equals to angle Q R Q S. So these angles are equal. Okay. And um, what else? PQ is three centimeters and QR is nine centimeters. And QS, which is QS here, is 15 centimeters. Now, for questions like this, um, where you ask to find uh, QT in this case, this has to do with similarity and congruence. What you need to do is you identify the fact that there are two shapes that are similar. Okay, so you see that this shape here which is this triangle here, is similar to this small triangle here. They are the same, okay? They are similar. And you use the fact that uh, you need to identify sides that are similar. So for instance, here, this side here is similar to this side here, okay? And this side here is similar to this side here. And this side down here is similar to that side down there, okay? So now, first of all, you need to look for two sides that are similar that you've been given lengths of, okay? That you've been given values. So for instance, we've been given values for P, Q, and uh, Q, R. So these sides are similar and we've been given values. So we're going to equate these two. So we're going to say three. So we have a small here, small triangle and a big triangle. Okay, so values for the small should be on one and values of the big one should be on one side. So values of the small triangle, we have three, which is three centimeters is equal to nine centimeters, nine centimeters. They are similar, okay? So we've identified that this is similar to this. Then now we have the length that we're looking for from uh, our, our triangle here. So length QT. Length QT is this length here. So QT is on the small side. So QT, which is on the small side. Let me use a different color. QT, which is on the small side here, will be equal to the big side, which is, uh, I mean, QT is, is similar to this side here, okay? So it will be equal to 15 centimeters. So the big side, the similar part, QT is this one, which is what we are looking for, is similar to this part here, okay, which is 15. Then we had these two sides with lengths, so this is uh, 3 is similar to that. Then what we'll do here is just cross multiply. So we'll say QT times that, that will be nine QT equal to three times 15, which will give you 45. Okay, so three times 15, that will be 45. Then for you to remain with QT here, you divide by nine and by nine here. And you remain with QT as what is 45 divided by nine? So that will give you five centimeters. So that is the length of uh, QT, 
okay so that is how you're supposed to work this problem okay so you just find uh two lengths that are similar that have values so like this side and this side are similar and they have values so we equate them so three centimeters is equals to nine centimeters and what you are looking for is qt so which is this side and what is it similar to it is similar to this side here then we say qt is equals to 15. so here what you should just note is that values of the same shape should be in one column and values of the other same shape should be in one column like here three centimeters and qt are coming from the small triangle and uh, nine centimeters and 15 are coming from the big triangle so they should be in one line like that so this is what you should consider on questions like this okay so i am going to give you some questions or let's do the last one is this the last one down here all right okay 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 so now before we go to this one let me see if i can pull up some questions on uh, similarity and congruence let's see all right so just a quick activity i'll just pull some questions so here you have uh, this triangle here so this is a 2011 paper so you're going to calculate the angle c b d so c b d okay c b d so just a hint uh this is a straight line here so meaning that this angle here plus this angle add up to 180 degrees so it will help you find this angle here and you use that fact that we had it will help you find this angle here remember that fact about uh summing uh triangles and stuff uh the sum of angles inside the triangle so that is what you're going to use here so first of all you need to find this which you make use of the fact that this is a straight line and the angle there is uh, adding up to 180 degrees with this one so it will help you find this then you use the fact that when you sum angles inside the triangle it gives you 180 degrees and it will give you the answer for cbd so it's just a hint on this one all right another question here so this is another question that you're going to work out so you have uh, in the diagram below shows a straight line and all that information so remember you're asked to find d c e so d is here c is there and e is there so when you flip it this other way you will be able to see that this forms a form of a z okay and you just need to remember what we said about z's then we come to um b c b c d b c d so b here c there and d so you need to find this angle here so again um remember what we said about angles facing each other and stuff so um you you'll find that so i'm just giving you a guide here so i want these questions so you have two questions so far so two questions so far all right so here is a, a similarity and congruence question so you asked uh, you've been given two triangles that are similar so they just want you to identify the side that corresponds to bc so bc here so identify that side that is question number three identify which side is similar to bc all right let's do this question as well so this is similar to the question that we looked at so let's do this question now the only thing that you need to note is that uh, when you have um when you have a triangle like this and these sides are the same lengths when two sides are the same so basically these lines when you see these lines 
it means the sides this side is the same as this side so this angle and that angle are the same so that is the hint that i can give you so if this is um 2x plus 50 this is also 2x plus 50 okay then you can find the value of x okay then we have uh let's see let's see let's see all right so here's uh one last question on similarity and congruence so you see that these triangles are similar and um you are you are given the, the lengths here so you just use the ratios you will compare sides that are similar all right so you let me just scroll up like that okay 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 so you will compare sides that are similar given that pq pq is 18 qr qr is 20 and xy xy is 30 calculate the length of wy so wy is this side here so wy is this so you just use the uh you consider which sides are similar and you pick one side that you already have a length of and you use that to uh, find the value of what you're looking for. So the, though the question is a bit tricky, you just need to identify sides that are, that are similar and you'll be able to work. So you, you do those ratios. So you just say, say maybe PQ is equals to whatever their length and QR is equals to whatever length, then you, you quit and you solve just as we did before. So these are the only questions I am leaving you with. So, um, I'll be waiting for the solutions tomorrow. So these solutions need to come tomorrow. Okay. Have a great evening.